Hey everybody, welcome back to Gooseberry Homestead. So today I'm wanting to share something in my garden. And so today's share is going to be an update on my Crandall Clove Current that I have. And this is the only current bush that I do have at this moment. It is um, a dark current, so it'll be like a black current. However, because of the variety that it is, it has less of a, a current flavor. Now I don't know what um, black currants taste like because I've never had one, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, of the flavors so I don't have anything to go off other than I really felt like I would probably actually really enjoy this current based on the description of it um, when I was looking it up and so I wanted to give you an update you guys and show you the berries that have been forming on them now this um, currants are in the gooseberry family they are basically cousins and they look very much like gooseberries when they're on um, the plant. See if I can get this to focus a little bit better. There we go. It's a little bit better. And so there's berries throughout the bush. And it's there's new growth to the limbs. As you can see, new growth here. These two bush, these, this limb here and this limb here have come off of the main stem. And then down here we have, you can see the new growth is light green and then the old growth on the limb is a darker brown color with a little bit of green in it. And so you can see all the new growth. This one here is a new growth coming off. This one's a new growth. And so I'll have even more berries next year. I have some more berries up near the top. They're just kind of hiding out in there, you guys. I'm trying not to cover up the speakers with my thumb, but just so you guys can see them some of the leaves have died it looks like so they will be very pretty the leaves will turn a very pretty color in the fall and so I'm excited about this I've been watering it really well making sure that we have um, enough water going into the container since they're not grabbing up um, nutrients and things from the ground I will be um, putting a little bit more fertilizer in here again this will add nutrients into the plant it will also help um, make the plant want to grow bigger and stronger. And then, you know, making sure that it has water so that the berries can be nice and plump and big, as big as we can get them, but not over watering because you don't want um, them to be um, just saturated with water all the time. But while we're here, um, since this is in the gooseberry family, I might even update my um, picture sometime with um, the green leaves on this I might take a picture and I can always use this as a picture for Gooseberry Homestead as well but today I took a picture of this one here and I wanted to show you guys here something also I just noticed under this leaf here we have this one we've got this stuff going on you guys this is created by something called a spittle bug and I th thought that they were little tiny green grasshoppers they kind of they hop and they kind of fly. I will be spraying off this area. Um, my uh, gooseberries in this section that I'm keeping them in, um, these are the ones I'm keeping for myself. They um, are in the shaded area. They get plenty of sunlight. However, I have found that they're doing so much better along the side of the wall of the house here. Um, that was the maintenance people putting, um, filling in holes so rats couldn't get into the house. Fun times. Um, <laughs> they didn't finish. I haven't seen the maintenance people back to our house since um, since early part of November. And uh, they never did come back to finish the work orders. And at this point, frankly, I'm just kind of giving up on the um, management office for my landlord. So um, she asked, oh, well, is everything okay this last, week, this last week when I paid the rent? And I'm like, whatever, the handle keeps falling off of, on our... Um, you know our bathtub whatever we'll just stick it back on there to turn the hot water on it it's, it's working good enough whatever she's oh nobody should live like that yeah nobody should live like that especially when you're paying a really lot of money a lot of money that can be going on to a mortgage so um yeah i'm just a little bit peeved but at the same time you know what it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right these are minor little things it's not a big deal but anyways <laughs> now that i got off on a little rant 
um, but yeah, so here's the gooseberries. Um, show you that because they go in with the Crandall. They are cousins. So I'll show you, um, show you how big they're getting. Now, this one is my Burgundy Sweet. That's what I am calling it. Um, this one here is getting, it kind of looks like a little bonsai. It's growing kind of slow. I'm hoping that it'll take off here soon. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it good. And so I'm hoping that's going to take off good and get a little bit bigger. But these ones will create the giant gooseberries that are like close to a quarter in size. Um, and then there's some other plants here that I have protecting them from my special needs son because he likes to stomp on the baby plants and so um, and break them. So I'm keeping the plant covers like this right here over the top of them. And that's a lilac. So, and then down here, another lilac. And it was a wonky looking one. So I just wanted one. They spread. So I'll just keep the one. Um, leave the other ones here when we move that are in the ground. So this one here is another big one. This will create the giant gooseberries. And this one is the biggest one, um, biggest plant I have so far to date on these ones. And it is actually doing really well. I really like it. Um, I have another one that's doing good, but it's in a smaller pot. I need to get them into some bigger pots like this. All of the ones I'm keeping, I want them in this size pot. But when I went to the store, um, when I went to Home Depot last time, guess what you guys, they, they didn't have my pots. So I need to go back and see if they have the pots yet so that it can get them all into the bigger pots. And um, that way, yeah, they, they just really need to be in bigger pots. All right, so this one is my Burgundy Sweet again. And I need to spray that one off. And then right here, the Crandall, it's in the big purple pot. Um, definitely gonna be moving this one with us. All of these plants are coming with us when we move um, because I'm not giving up my plants this time. And this is the biggest gooseberry plant that I have. I actually have to step backwards so you guys can see it. Um, it's just huge and big and it's got a lot of growth. Um, I will be taking out this middle section here this fall um, or, or in January, next end of January next year while it's still dormant but before the buds um, come on, uh, I will be um, cutting them probably, well, let me think. I will probably cut it back the end when all when it doesn't have any leaves on it before the buds start poking out and we'll cut it back and I will stick the sticks into ground cut into the ground because by then these will have all turned a woody color and that's key um, I am finding that I do have rooting happening with the softwood though too you guys so I mean it can be done. You just have to make sure you take off most of the leaves and then gently put it into the dirt. Um, however, uh, I will be cutting this back um, and opening up the center of the plant because as you see here, you want to have ample um, airflow within the bush and um, it's going to get too crowded really quick. And so I will be taking out this whole middle section. This right here is part of it because these other ones are going to put outside shoots like this and then they're going to come in towards the middle so i really want to just open it up and make it more goblet shaped um because it was a goblet shape but as it has expanded and grown this year um it it is just amazing how how much um it has expanded Ooh, we're starting to get rain um and then this one here has gotten a ni um, nice and big too um it's probably the second biggest one that i have in width at least um the other one down on the far end the first one i showed you guys that one was um it's actually nice and tall very comparable to the um the other one i just showed you just before this one so yeah there's that you guys and so there's my gooseberries and my crandall current update and um i guess i can show you the other two right here and I'll do an updates on some of those other ones here. So I've got, this one is the giant gooseberry too, the quarter size. And that's the next largest sized one that I have. And so um, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be keeping these ones too. Um, so far I have four of each. And I have another one that I started of the sweet burgundy that's in my little greenhouse right now. And I think I'm going to keep that one. So I'll have a total of five 
of each that I'm keeping for myself. And then the rest of them, I will be taking clippings from each of these every year and then putting them into pots to sell. And so I, that keeps me maintaining and doing clippings off of my, um, oh, hi, birdie. You didn't know I was here? So that'll keep my bushes maintained while we're renting and when I'm not renting I'll be doing this and then I can turn those into plants that I can sell and make a little extra money um, for buying my children something as needed and that sort of thing so anyways you guys thanks so much for watching my videos comment like and subscribe and click the bell button and like always have a wonderful day and God bless bye